Uh, joining us right now is uh, radio host Kevin Jackson, who was uh, with us uh, in the previous uh, hour on the uh, panel. And uh, welcome back, Kevin. Thank you. And while we effort our own uh, John Bachman, who did such a great job with Dick Morris and, uh, and Alan West uh, yesterday in their coverage of uh, the uh, State of the Union here on Newsmax TV, uh, let me start with, uh, with uh, Kevin. And, and, and let, me, let me ask you about this. I don't know if you're aware of, of the uh, controversy. Uh, let's put up uh, tweet number uh, 45. And this uh, new host on MSNBC, Kevin, uh, Ronan Farrow, uh, the son of uh, Mia Farrow, and, and, and they, they hold him out there dangling that he's possibly Frank Sinatra's son uh, right. as well. He tweeted out, as you recall, the president, um, one of the poignant things he did was he, he uh, presented a, uh, a, a veteran, uh, who uh, Corey uh, Remsburg. Uh, he honored him, and the, the gentleman uh, got a two-minute standing ovation. And uh, this Ronan Farrow tweeted out afterward, uh, Corey struggles on the left side. Um, as, as does Congress or Congress relates, something like that, uh, a, a horrific, you know, to use the, uh, the disability of this soldier in any way, uh, but to make a joke about it or a, a joking analogy to Congress, um, is, is just, I guess it's what you expect these days from MSNBC. I was going to say their, their number one pundit these days is Al Sharpton. That should tell you something, uh, you know, look. You bring on Al Sharpton, you bring on, you know, Mia Farrow's, I don't even, I don't know nothing about this kid, but my suspicion is, is that he doesn't have a background in journalism. I, he, he, he dropped, he might as well have dropped from outer space and, and been a Martian because I've never heard of him as a pundit. So it doesn't surprise me that they do it and it's some nepotism involved, but you're right. The same thing happened with Wendy Davis in Texas. They were, they, I don't know if you know this, but they did a thing called Stand with Wendy. Because her opponent, who's the, uh, I believe he's the attorney Greg general. Greg Abbott is the attorney general, Greg, yes. Greg Abbott, he's, he's wheelchair bound. He's paraplegic, yeah. Yeah, so, the, and they, they, they did the background on the, you know, you, you got undercover uh, audio, and they're doing it intentionally. They stand. So stand with Wendy is a ploy, a campaign ploy to show that he's, you know, in a, a campaign ploy to show that he's, you know, in ambulatory. Yeah. It, 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 nothing surprises me about these people. And James O'Keefe uh, inadvertently stumbled on uh, some uh, supporters of uh, Wendy Davis, who, by the way, uh, reportedly uh, committed perjury, lying about her uh, divorce, the age of her divorce, has misrepresented other things in her biography. Uh, at, but uh, she, and also said that he can't, that Greg Abbott can't walk in my shoes or hasn't walked in my shoes. So there's another uh, uh, you know, piece of the Play puzzle for words, what you right. said. But, but he stumbled upon people saying about Greg Abbott, supporters of Wendy Davis, and they were all laughing. He can't speak well, he's not good looking, and he can't walk, and they, cr and they all laughed i mean it, it they they know no shame well th there again you know forget forget about him how he speaks but the idea is you have to be good looking you have to be able to play the part you, you don't have to be competent it, it didn't matter that greg abbott has the competency to do it you know it, it what matters is that he doesn't look like he has a competency it's like barack obama he looks competent He's the most incompetent president we've ever had, but hey, he looks good, right? Well, let me give you one more, and uh, it, you know, coincidentally, it's MSNBC again. Uh, Alex uh, Wagner uh, tweeted out during Congresswoman McMorris Rogers' response. But let's put cut, let's put tweet forty six up on the uh, screen uh, if we can, and uh, she. Um, uh, tweeted out, uh, she said, living room lady on a, what is it, a, again, I don't know, settee, settee, whatever, it's a couch, uh, where's the needle point? Now, now, instead of applauding the Republican Party for having a, a woman in leadership and having a woman give the rebuttal, she mocks her. Yeah, well, she mocks her as being, she's your typical boring conservative woman. And, you know, because what, she's an accomplished woman? I mean, all the things, it's kind of like the, the bashing of Palin. They have to have something. They got to find something. Well, the National Organization of Women, one of their heads, when Palin was picked by uh, uh, McCain, I'll never forget, said that uh, she might as well be a white male because if you're if you're a minority in this country, and as you you probably know better than I, or you know, woman, black, Hispanic, and you're conservative, they 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 hate you and they think you're some kind of you know name, and that to me is the best, the worst kind of racism and sexism that exists. So, oh. uh, but 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 you know, they they claim there's a war on women going on on the right, and then they make these kind of comments on the left. Well, did you catch when Obama made a comment about uh, the, the, an accident of birth? 
Yes. You go back and live. Yeah. No so one should you, succeed because of an accident of birth. Yeah. And, what, and the accident of birth is you being born a woman. And that's essentially what he was saying. He's telling you in his own back of his mind that he's a misogynist. He's paternalistic in his thinking. And if you happen to be born as an accident of birth, that accident of birth could be you're black. It, you could be a woman. Maybe you're just too short. But there are these accidents of birth. And, and it, essentially, the government is there to help you overcome your accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty revealing way of talking about it. Hey, Kevin, great to talk to you again, sir. Thanks for sticking around with us. My pleasure. All right, Kevin Jackson, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Doug Schoen is coming up next. Uh, he'll be with us, Democratic uh, strategist, of course, Fox News Democratic political analyst. And uh, then uh, Herman Cain uh, will be here, and that should be a very interesting conversation. And all of that is straight ahead, only one place, and one place only. Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV, and radio.